I'd like to greet all human beings all around the world with a universal greetings of peace and the blessings of God be upon you. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what your political, philosophical, personal, nor religious beliefs may be. It doesn't even matter whether you're the richest to the poorest person on the face of this earth. It doesn't matter if you're the proclaimed toughest to the proclaimed weakest person on the face of this earth. It doesn't matter whether you like me, whether you like my YouTube videos, whether you push like or dislike, uh, whether you like what I say, period. It doesn't matter if you my family, friends, or proclaim my proclaimed enemies. It doesn't matter if you light-skinned or dark-skinned. I treat all of you all with the same universal greetings of peace and blessings of God be with you. Uh, today happened to be October the 20th, 2019. It's Sunday. Uh, it's about 1.05 p.m. First, I'd like to say thank God for allowing uh, me and my daughters to go to church today. This one particular brother, he, you know, he, he breaks the word down and, you know, he's very encouraging. He don't mind me at his house. I don't mind him at mine. Uh, don't even have to say his name because, you know, a lot of time my enemies, they try to plot against those that, uh, don't mind communicating with me here in Charleston, Missouri, but that's another, that's another case. Uh, today I want to talk about a few things again. My, uh, uh, you know, lately I, I try to keep up with things, not just in Charleston, Missouri, but, but worldwide, especially in the United States and then especially in uh, Chicago, Illinois, my hometown. I want, I want y'all to focus and listen to this real good. Pay close attention to it now. Back again. I have to speak about black folks because it's a lot of killing, unjustifiably killing. All right, now, amongst blacks in our neighborhood, black on black, in police, unjustifiably killing. I want you to look at this. First, we're going to go to a teacher strike in Chicago, Illinois. The teacher said, that they're striking for three things. Now listen to this real good. Three things. One, pay raise, because they underpaid. Two, to shorten down the class sizes, too many children in their classes. And three, they were speaking about, they concerned about children that's coming to school but they sleeping in cars or coming to school and they're living in neighborhoods where it's a threat that they don't know whether they're going to live or not. Now listen to them. Three things. Now you see <clears throat> thousands of teachers in the streets of all nationalities. I'm going to put this on, on your mind for a minute. And if you haven't never heard of it, or uh, uh, never heard it, listen to it. One of Michael Jackson's songs. People talk about him. I don't know the exact name of it. I could be wrong, could be right. I know my daughter's and them fans of Michael Jackson. They cried when he died. Uh, the song, it says, they don't really care about us. And I think that might be the name of it. But you listen to it real good. Listen to the lyrics. But let's get back to this, these teachers out in the streets. Now, they got a union or they got unity where when they feel that they ain't getting paid enough money, what they're going to do, they're going to refuse to go teach the children. You see what I'm saying? And they're going to stay out of school until... They get that raise. Now, they said it's two other things that they're going for. They, they said they're going for uh, uh, 
uh, uh, to, to try to eliminate the, uh, the, the size of the classes and to try to make it better for the children that's sleeping in the cars and the children that's living in these danger zones in the black communities. Now, when a black get killed, when this, when this raise, it get, when they get this raise, blacks has been getting killed by the hundreds each year, almost by the thousands, shot by the thousands, but you ain't seen no teacher strike. So when they said that they concerned about the people in the black community or these children being shot or these children being in danger zones, you can't tell that to me because soon when you get that pay raise, now you might want to get some of them children out of your class because you, you feel that you're underpaid and you're teaching too many children. If you concerned about them being killed in their neighborhoods, why would you be worried about a bunch of them being in your class? That's contrast. That's contradicting yourself. But the teachers is looking out for the teachers. Now, let me show you another thing. The black superintendent of police in Chicago, Illinois, Eddie Johnson, grew up in the same neighborhood I did, a street down from where I lived in the row houses in Cabrini Green housing projects on the near north side. And from what I see, he about a year or so younger than me. Now, all of that killing, murdering in the black neighborhoods in Chicago. Now, here it is on Friday, October the 18th, 2019. Somebody called and said, there's a man slumped over his steering wheel at a stop sign on, I believe it was 52nd and Parnell. Or not 50-something, I think it was 30, 34th place in Parnell, I believe it was. Guess who it was? It was the superintendent of police sleep at a stop sign at nighttime. Now, you know he can have weapons. We don't know if somebody got his weapon or not. If they did, they ain't going to tell that. But he slumped over his steering wheel. The police come, and they said they didn't give him a breathalyzer test because he didn't seem like he was impaired. But that was you and me. Now, he's a black man. That's why I said don't look at the color all the time. But, but if it was you and me, we'll get one. Sleep. The, chief, the superintendent, you wondering why all these people getting killed in the black neighborhood if he sleep up under the steering wheel. But look, he got on a news conference and said that I'm going to be honest with you. Now, he said he's going to be honest. That's what he said when he said he's going to be honest. He said, uh, the doctor put me on some new high blood pressure medicine. But I took the old one and it made me go to sleep. Said nothing about he been drinking, but it done just came out. That now the black male said that uh, the superintendent, after he went to dinner, he had a couple of drinks. But see, they didn't say that at first. So if they have took a breathalyzer, they would have seen whether or not he was over the limit. You see what I'm saying? On the drinking, but they didn't. You see, the teachers looking out for the teachers. The police looking out for the police. Blacks is not looking out for blacks because when you when they kill one of us, you see what I'm saying? Instead of always trying to get money, it's okay to get money, but do like them teachers do. Stay out there until you get what you want. When they kill one of us, you make sure that the person that did the killing, if it's unjustifiable, that he be tried. Whether he get found guilty or not, whether he be tried. We know we don't have no just system. But it's something to think about now. Here it is, 
the superintendent slumped over will. The man is supposed to be protecting Chicago. Let me tell you this here. The superintendent is supposed to have a security individual with him. You know what he said when they asked him, don't you suppose to have a security, security uh, a personnel with you? He said, yeah, but uh, he's a student somewhere. And I figured I was going to let him get some rest. You're going to let him get some rest. You see what I'm saying? If they needed you at the moment you were slumped over this thing, over this steering wheel, sleep. What if it went again and hit somebody? It didn't know. What if somebody, if they, if we don't even know if somebody stole his gun. He stole one from an FBI agent a, a few years ago. Never been found. But this is something to think about, y'all. Michael Jackson said they don't really care about us. Black folks, Martin Luther King said it. One of the Pokes said it. John F. Kennedy said it. Where there's an injustice anywhere, there's a threat to injustice everywhere. You see, if I got shot and killed here in Charles, Missouri, I know a lot of people that would be glad. You see what I'm saying? Then I know a lot that wouldn't be glad. But people that's out here doing wrong, you see, the same thing they're trying to cover up with the superintendent, that's how they did here. When I called the police on January the 30th, 2019, about two thugs a little bit past my bushes over here, out here harassing me and my children twice. The police came, I got them on camera where they making fun of me, telling the, the thugs, yeah, we knew y'all was gonna hand him some. I made a report to the chief of police, Robert Hearns. And he took about two or three months before he responded, but I had to send a second one, and this is what his response was. You right that they didn't handle that right, but if you talk to our uh, police officers, better than you doing and don't cuss at them, which I didn't. But if I did, you still supposed to enforce the law. But they didn't. They cover up for each other, y'all. And not saying all police is bad, but when the police see what another one do wrong, just like when he was stumped over the steering wheel, he's not above the law, but he was up there. But then, let's look. Just like he was slumped over that, last night about 10 o'clock, one teen was shot and killed, 16-year-old, on the west side of Chicago last night. In about 1040, I think it was, last night. And two other teens were shot. While an ambulance and the police was on their way, the police car and the ambulance was on their way to that shooting, they had an accident. So the two paramedics had to go to the hospital Two police had to go to the hospital. Two individuals, two of the individuals that got shot on their back porch on the west side, 3400 block of, uh, 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 I think, Florinoid, home in Florinoid. Uh, they had to go to the hospital and the 16-year-old didn't make it. You see what I'm saying? But if he was slumped over his steering wheel, sleep, you got to remember last year, they found somebody took a, a, a video of two police on duty sleep. While they sleeping, the people of color, black, Spanish, black, Puerto Rican, and Mexican, our neighborhoods is being terrorized sometimes by us. Because you got police out there that's drinking, slumped over the thing, and they use saying that medications that they taking. And then this man say he got liver pro had liver problem or kidney problem. He he's sick. If you sick, you don't need to be out there. But I'm gonna leave with you with this here, y'all. Black folks, start complaining. Do like them teachers doing. You know they ain't worried about the they they ain't worried about the people that's sleeping in them cars and the in the and the things that's going on in that neighborhood. As soon as they get that raise, they gonna be cool. Just like that police, chief, superintendent, stomped over the wheel. Let us do it and see what happens. But I'm going to leave you with this here. Where's there injustice anywhere, there's a threat to injustice everywhere. Peace.
be still.